and you can achieve the same result of trading more, usually by trading less. Good morning traders, welcome back to Kuala Lumpur in this restaurant where I just finished a very spicy kind of fried rice. Well, it was really good though, as always. Plans for today are to go explore the KL Tower, which is not far from here. I'll we'll try to walk there, get lost a little bit, and see if I can go up the tower or not. We'll, we'll just see the area. Let's get started with that day. <laughs> oh man, I woke up near the kitchen to pay my bill. And I started to cough like really, really hard with all the spices there. It smells incredible. I couldn't stop at all. That, that was funny. Now the guy told me something like 16, which I thought at first. I was about to pay, but it turns out that was 6. And so it turns out to be $2 for a big fried rice and a mango juice. Not bad. <laughs> Basically I have no map, I'm just walking toward the tower. It's kind of very easy to spot, so that shouldn't be a problem. Shop. So now it's time for a little bit of work before going up the tower. On the rooftop. Yeah. In the elevator right now, I'm just gonna have a little bit of free time. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I get to the top. I want you to have that view of the KL Tower. Well, that's another cool view. Take a look at that. Now out of Kale Tower, I'm gonna try to find the way back down to the main road and try to find a coffee shop. I have a little bit of work to do again, so that's gonna be the rest of the afternoon. I've been outside for like two minutes, I'm already sweating, so that's not a good sign. So I stayed here a little bit longer than expected, but it started to rain like really, really badly. So already 6 p.m. It's gonna be time to head back and talk about trading. So today, in case you guys don't know, is a uh, market holiday like for Easter. Most big traders are not gonna be trading. And so I used to see this time as bad because my goal was to trade and trade and trade as much as I could. But I got over time to see kind of these days as days of, of pause and kind of break, which I like now. And it's really good sometimes to like stay away from the market for a while, even, even if it's just like a weekend, not looking at any chart or just for a day during the week like this. I'm still looking at the chart today, but I'm pretty sure I won't place any trade. And that's like just a fact. I came to an area with a lot of bars and everybody tries to get me in for the happy hour and stuff. I don't know how I came here. 
my philosophy of trading over time has evolved to kind of doing whatever I have to do in the shortest time possible because I don't want to spend like hours and days looking at charts and I don't want to have to be there all the time and so I used to really want to take more trades and I used to really want to focus on how can I make the most money now and whenever you do something like this you usually end up with lower profit and just more stress and your mind just feels like really bad and a lot of students I talk to also made this transition over the years it's very rare that people get experience and want to trade more they usually want to trade a little bit less because they realize that they don't have to trade all the time and you can achieve the same result of trading more usually by trading less and that means by removing the bad trade and focusing on the best trade as opposed to adding more stuff The sunset is beautiful in Kuala Lumpur. It's like a nice orange color with some a little bit of clouds, but beautiful. Alright guys, so I'll conclude here for today after a good dinner. Thanks for watching. Give a like if you enjoyed the video today. Comment below with your thoughts as always. And I only have one day left in Kuala Lumpur, which is a very short, but I'll try to make the most of it. Make sure you subscribe to the video tomorrow. And I'll see you guys there. Ciao.